You are such an asshole! Assholeconsulting.com. We are at, we're at a cool facility. I can't say where, but this is this is pretty sweet. I it's it's further proof. I got to get my own office, and it's kind of a it's kind of a dingy guy place, and it's really freaking. I'm gonna talk about more on my podcast, which you guys should all listen to. I don't know why there's not more crossover between the YouTube listeners or viewers. And the podcast listeners and the blog readers. You guys should be able to do all three. But, but the research I've done, it's really weird. Like, you guys are all compartmentalized. There's no cross, well, there's a little crossover, but not a lot. So go watch the podcast. It's called The Clary Podcast. Go look it up. Buy my books. Give me all your fucking money, all that other shit. Where'd it go? <clears throat> it says, We are remote location. I have to do. Oh, come on. Will you please go thank you? Captain Asshole. That's me. Uh, I wanted to thank you for saving my ass from a stupid degree. I'm 19 in my second year of school. I was originally going to major in journalism. Good God. Until a friend of mine put me onto your channel. He's a very good friend indeed. Very smart. Probably a good looking guy too, I'd have to say. Uh, he really saved me because he insisted I watch your channel, which made me realize just what mistake I was making. The problem is, I think I just went from one frying pan into the other. I switched from journalism to business. <laughs> To business management. I know it's stupid. Don't yell. I hadn't read Worthless yet. Okay. Well, you're 19, so you're just pissing away your time in prereqs anyway. Listen to fat, ugly lesbians tell about how much you suck. I'm assuming you're a white guy. If you're a black guy, they're telling you only your penis sucks, but the rest of you is okay. <laughs> Make a great book for Your penis sucks, but the rest of you is okay. <laughs> how the fuck am I not viral yet? Jesus. All right. Um, a business, I know still don't yell at you. Uh, but now I know business is a worthless degree. So now what? I tested my IQ like you recommend on Queendom, and I got an IQ of 119. I know that's above average, but is it enough to major in something like engineering or computer science? Or should I look into a specialized business degree like accounting or finance. I think finance is interesting, but I know you hate that field. Please let me know how much a video response will cost. Thanks for your help, Dave. Well, thank you very much. All right, <clears throat> here's the deal. It, where do we want to go? 119 is, is, is much, yeah, you don't want to be going back into business. And if you are going to be a business major, then it's going to be one of two things, accounting or MIS. And if it is MIS, then why do you want to get a four-year degree? Why don't you just go and do self-study, get your certifications, or go to tech school, get your two-year certification, and then go. So it, that, that's kind of the realm you're in. But is, is a 119, it, yeah, it is. Uh, engineers, hang on, I took a picture. I looked it up. Engineers come in at 124, um, if I remember. Yeah, and then like petroleum engineers are really high. Astrophysicists are off the chart. Economists, <laughs> we're up there too. Um, but a 119 IQ is not bad at all. And here's the other thing. It's basically, you know, you're talking kids in their late teens and early 20s. You guys are mailing it in. You're doing it half-assed. If it was up to, I would honestly say somebody who with determination and maturity and discipline, <clears throat> you could have, I'd say anyone could, pretty much. I'd say 105 and above. It'd probably be harder for a guy with a 105 IQ. But 119, oh yeah, you totally have the raw mental power to become an engineer. Now, and that ain't gonna be easy. It ain't like you got an IQ of 160, where it's just like, you know, you've seen those weirdos that can do like advanced division of multiple. They're the, those assholes who could do the Rubik's Cube in half a second, you know, you looked at it, Actually, you don't even know what the fuck a Rubik's Cube is because you're 19 years old. Never mind. Look up Rubik's Cube. Look at how fast these guys did it back in the 80s. And you'll hate those guys because they're like the fucking IQ of 160 type people. Anyway, 119, absolutely should be able to do it. I might not try and go for your doctorate right off the bat. And certainly at the age of 19, you're going to have to take some weeding classes. So you're going to be doing Calc 1, 2, and 3. I don't know whether you took it in uh, high school or not. Uh, but it is my assessment that you could do that. Now, this is what the trap that I fell into when you mentioned finance you find interesting. That's the finance trap, okay? And if you look at finance, I think it is it on this image, hang on. Finance majors have a really high IQ. I think that finance majors are like 125. So it's not, and, and it makes sense because finance is really interesting. It's math-based. 
there's an element of art to it because you're trying to predict the future and there's an element of math which is what the tools that they use to predict the future i liked it it speaks directly to economics it's much more practical at least that's what i thought is economics but again the problem with finance that you're going to run into is then you typically got to go work in finance and that is the most cocksuckiest scum bucket uh buckiest uh, losers and douches and egomaniacs on the face of the planet and if you want to go work for an industry that gets bailed out what are we there's snl now this one's i mean long-term credit management yeah it, it's gonna it's gonna suck you're just not gonna like it so i would you know if you got this iq you're gonna put that much effort and work into it Go and major in STEM, go and major in engineering, computer programming, something like that. Now, what subfield or what area of STEM or IT, that is, again, up to you. But in terms of raw potential part, yeah, I mean, fucking business majors, hang on. Like general business administration, which is why I assume you're in. They're, like, down there with fucking education majors, which are the dumbest. Elementary education is the lowest. Oh, where's the business major? Yeah, they're they're at like 111, and that's like just above education and below other social science. So yeah, dude, uh, you you are too smart to be a business major. So get the fuck out of that and actually go and make a little bit of money and get a real job. All right, best of luck, yeah. Tools.